this year uh, we are adding a full service three course restaurant at Am Himmel, uh, the restaurant in the sky. And uh, like I said, that's a sit down three course meal with beer and wine pairings. Um, year to year, you'll see slight changes that we incorporate. Um, and, and that's something we're very proud of. And if you, if Tolstons do have the opportunity to go to, to Germany and, and, and celebrate um, at their Oktoberfest or Volksfest festivals, um, I think that they will be, be more than pleasantly surprised at, at how much and how um, true we are to what, what they're offering over there. The Polinar Oktoberfest Wiesen beer. Uh, this is a beer that if you were to, to go to Oktoberfest, this would, this would be their fest beer. This would be known in Germany as the Polinar Oktoberfest. Here in the United States, it would be marketed as the Polinar Oktoberfest Wiesen, and that is a full-bodied uh, Golden Oktoberfest lager. Uh, this would be the only beer that you would find and be served in the Polliner tent uh, if you were in Munich. Uh, now the, the, the Merzen style uh, beer that they offer, that is what you, we in America traditionally understand is the most recognizable fall seasonal uh, in our craft beer market. And that is, uh, so that is the Polliner Oktoberfest. Um, but the Fest beer, the, the beer of the festival, if you were to go to the Polliner tent in Germany, is going to be the Polliner Oktoberfest Wiesen, and so I think that's appropriate for us to start with that. Sure. So the Polliner Oktoberfest Wiesen may very well be the lightest uh, appearing in color of, uh, of the beers we're going to sample today, but it's, uh, it's a mellow and balanced uh, flavor. And if you could stand up on your table and down a full liter of this in 10 seconds or under, they would allow you to possibly stay in the tent. If you don't, you need to empty the rest of it on top of your head if you were in Munich and they'll escort you out. The Polliner uh, Oktoberfest, um, that is a traditional Meriton style amber beer made to celebrate the original uh, Oktoberfest over 200 years ago. And for those of you that don't know, in 1810, I believe on October 12th, uh, that was the initial celebration of the Bavarian Crown Prince's wedding. And that reoccurring celebration um, is, is what we now know to be Oktoberfest. Okay. Notice the darker amber color. Um, the kind of clean uh, bitterness of the, the German noble hops uh, and the kind of toastiness of the, of the flavor make an Oktoberfest beer an excellent pairing uh, with all types of foods, but there's a reason that the, the Oktoberfests are so popular uh, with bratwurst. Uh, our next beer is going to be the Vorsteiner Oktoberfest uh, from Vorstein, Germany. Uh, please note the, the Bavarian Czechs that denote the region of the country from which it is brewed. Uh, like all uh, Vorsteiner beers, uh, they're brewed in limited batches and in accordance with the German purity laws. So it's a true German import. Our next beer up is going to be the Spaten Oktoberfest. This is one of my favorite Oktoberfests that, that you will find available both in Germany and the United States. Um, this was first served in Munich's Oktoberfest in 1872. So this is Probably the oldest uh, continually produced Oktoberfest beer that, that you and I are going to be able to enjoy. So, uh, not my best pour, but it is a beautiful beer. We're moving on to our only domestic offering from today's sampling, and it's from uh, Houston's Carbach Brewing Company, and this is their Carbach Oktoberfest. A Bavarian style Meritzen, and um, I'm excited to try it. I've never had the opportunity to have the Carb Oktoberfest. Our last beer sampling of the day is the Benedictiner Fest beer. So when you come to Oktoberfest, let me tell you how you want to order your beer. Fest beer, bitte. The festival beer, please. And if we had better weather, this is probably the most authentic German Oktoberfest that you're going to be able to take to the park or any place where you can't have a glass container. So Prost, Benedictiner Festbeer.
This amber-colored beer has a fruity and malty aroma coupled with a hint of caramel. I'm excited to see how it's going to taste. But before I get into this beer, let me tell you, Lindy Oktoberfest Tulsa has been recognized by USA Today as one of the top five Oktoberfest in the United States. And we've been recognized most recently by another national publication as one of the top two most authentic Oktoberfests offered in North America. So please come join us, raise a fest beer or two, and celebrate the 41st year of Lindy Oktoberfest Tulsa. Prost.